Hey, it's past 7, 10 p.m. right now. I didn't go for my walk yet because, well, it was raining and I was busy. And I've been dreading working out. So if I was to choose between the two, I'm gonna choose walking over working out. I'm not gonna listen to any audiobook. I'm just gonna be with my thoughts. By the way, I was watching this video on repeat about how Sam Sulek is changing YouTube. And basically, consistency plus authenticity can lead to success, which is why I'm doing this channel because of Sam Sulek, right? He was proof that just being authentic and posting every single day can work. It works. Now, will it work for anyone? Probably not, but he gave me hope that it was possible for me, which is why I started this whole 1% better day series. So yeah, it is encouraging to see that authenticity and consistency alone. Is it alone? Because Sam Sulek is also so eye-catching because he's such a huge bodybuilder. Anyways, I'm probably not the only one who's got inspired by Sam Sulek and trying this kind of video format, but I've only been uploading for like less than three weeks now, on a daily basis that is. So I wonder what it'll look like eight months from now of consistent daily uploading. And I wonder if I'll still be working out on a regular basis then, or if I decided I don't want to do that anymore and I'll switch to doing other stuff throughout the day. But anyways, before it gets too late, I want to go for my walk. Even though it's pitch black, I'll take my flashlight. So I'll see you after the walk. My mom told me not to walk by the dark ravine. She told me that murders have happened there in the past. And I don't know if that's true, but it is scary at night. So I'm gonna walk on the streets where there are lights. Although it is noisy on the main street. So not a fan of the car noise, but Oh well. This used to be a second cup, now it's uh, Tim Hortons. Good thing, because they needed to use a washroom. You can't really see it on camera, but there is a skunk right there with its white stripes. I am walking around it. That is very dangerous. Do not want to get sprayed on. <laughs> that was a good walk. It was kind of chilly, but good to get my steps in. Here's my step counter. So let me tell you a little story about what happened today. Niels and I were hosting our weekly mastermind call with small YouTube creators who just started recently. And a woman came online who we haven't seen for a long time. She said that Niels and I both messaged her privately to let her know that she should join the call, which we didn't. Neither of us messaged her specifically. We always just messaged everyone. We just tag everyone. So we didn't reach out to her. Anyway, she was showing us her new setup and it was really nice, although she hasn't gotten around to making videos yet. And the conversation was friendly until one point where Niels asked, oh, so have you made your video yet? And she said, oh, Paul already, already asked that and then she said I know what kind of games you're playing and I don't want any part of that and I kind of got a sinking feeling in my chest and I was like what what are you talking about what games I said I said what games I said we're just hosting weekly calls so she was accusing us of playing games with her and then she said I wish you guys all the best in your life and then she just left the call. The only thing I can think of that we could have offended her was about asking if she made a video. And I guess she was insecure about not having kept her word about making a video by November. But to be honest, neither of us really care about that. We were just asking because she was in the call. We didn't individually reach out to her or care whether she had kept her word or not. She wasn't on our mind at all. But I'm guessing in her mind, we were insidiously reaching out to her and saying, oh, you didn't keep your word about making a video. So I guess she's living in an alternate reality. Well, that is reality to her. To, to her, in her reality, Niels and I are these evil guys who are playing games with her and trying to make her feel bad about herself or something like that. But in Niels and my reality, we haven't thought about her in a long time since the last time she came on the call, which was like over a month ago, I think. And we don't particularly care whether she's kept her word about making a video or not. It's not a big deal to us at all, nor were we trying to make her feel bad. We were just asking how her progress is going because that's the whole point of our weekly calls. The weekly mastermind, we host it to encourage each other and to keep each other on track and give each other support and in making videos. But anyways, so she took offense to me and Niels and so I just messaged her and uh, wished her well uh, and 
all the best with her future, I guess. So yeah, I was kind of ruminating about that afterwards. I can't help, but it just keeps coming to my mind. It wasn't so bad, but it would pop up in my mind again and again for a little while. So yeah, bit of drama today. But other than that, it's funny because yesterday's video I was talking about how I was trying to help a guy who said he didn't feel very motivated and how do you keep motivated? Clearly I'm not the best to give advice about that because today was low motivation day for me and I did not work out. Although I did go for a walk, but I did not work out and I did not practice flute. I just flat out didn't want to do it. I didn't want to do anything other than go for a walk and make this video. Like making this video, I don't really have a problem with, but working out and playing the flute, I, I feel some resistance towards them. Some days way more than others. And I even asked myself the question during my walk, why do I feel such resistance against working out? And the immediate answer that comes back to me is, well, it's uncomfortable and it's not a pleasant feeling to be pushing yourself physically. I guess that's partly why I don't mind walking is because it's not a strenuous exercise. It's very leisurely, it's relaxing. I get to kind of declutter my thoughts as I'm walking. I don't even know if it helps that much with decluttering my thoughts because I'm also just looking around and being present. But yeah, there is the term walking meditation. So I guess there is some kind of of possible decluttering of the mind. I also did get my stream of consciousness writing done in the morning. First thing right after I woke up. One of the things I got from this writing was that I should try using a calendar. I did not end up sticking to my calendar at all. I also said I feel like I should stretch a lot more. I'm sitting down too much. So some useful insights. Well, at least I got my steps in today. 1% better every day, baby.